What is up guys and welcome back to the channel and today I'm going to be doing another gear reaction video because this week another device has dropped which has really really caught my imagination and my curiosity. It is the brand new release from Teenage Engineering. This is a follow up to the PO33 which has a big place in the SP community. This is often referred to as a kind of baby SP or it's often paired with the SP devices as well to give it a bit more oomph and grit. So the fact that Teenage Engineering have come up to a follow up for this, I'm sure it's gonna be interesting for a lot of you out there. So what I thought I'd do in this video is kind of talk about the release of it, react to how it looks, etc. I'll talk about some of the positive things that I've discovered about it already. And I'll talk about some of the things which I'm not really sure about. So I'm very close to pulling the trigger on purchasing one of these. We'll talk about the price point a bit later in the video as well. But yeah, I'd really love to know your reactions to it. If you've already seen this device, what are your thoughts on it so far? I'm seeing quite a lot of positivity about this and a bit of negativity, uh, which is completely justified. But uh, I think on the whole, there seems to be quite a good reaction to this device. So yeah, if you've already seen this device, leave it in the comments below what your thoughts are. If this is your first time seeing it, well, you can leave your reactions as well. What do you think to this device? First of all, looking at it, I think this thing looks absolutely incredible. As soon as I saw it on social media, it really attracted my attention. I just thought it looked completely like something out of a sci-fi film, something really, really different and not very much like the competition that's around when you look at like the NPCs and, and the SPs and stuff like that. It looks radically different. We can still see similarities, obviously, but yeah, I think the whole design of it is really, really nice. It's very, very slim. It's got a very slim profile. It looks super lightweight, and I think it's going to be one of those devices which is going to work really well on the move. So the big thing to point out really straight away is the price point of this device. This is absolutely crazy for a teenage engineering release. With those, I'm really used to just seeing extravagant price points and I haven't really been that interested in a lot of their products for a long time because they're just way out of my budget. But this one has come out at a really, really good price point. So $300 and it's actually listed on the TE website here as £300 here in the UK. But when I've added it to my basket, it's taken the VAT off and dropped it down to an incredible £250. Now, when you look at the feature set, I think that's really, really good value for money. And when I saw that VAT get dropped off in the checkout, which I'm actually just got in the background here because I'm that close to pulling the trigger on this, blew me away, really. I think it's, it's an incredibly juicy and tempting price point, And I think a lot of people will be convinced by that. TE have a history of really expensive products, so it's really great to see them releasing some stuff that's actually affordable to the average beat maker and the average Joe, people like me. And in relation to that as well, it's really interesting and good to see that they've managed to keep this kind of really simple and nice styling, but low with the price point because they've had a few products that have been released that look like this but they've been really really highly priced but the fact that this has got the same sort of aesthetic and form factor but it's at much lower price i think that's a really really positive thing so just briefly to talk about some of the features that have sort of attracted my attention and i don't really want to talk too much about this device in relation to the po33 because i just think it's such a massive change of scene but unlike the po33 it has got usb connectivity now so that's a huge step up obviously you can see, obviously, from looking at the device as well, that there's, a, you know, a wealth of changes that have happened in comparison to the PO33. But I think that USB inclusion is really, really nice. So I don't know at this point if you can actually sample down that, but you can definitely import samples onto the device with it. So that's huge. You've obviously got the screen, which looks really interesting. I think it looks quite sort of user friendly in the sense that when you do things, certain symbols light up, much like the dashboard in kind of like a car or something like that. So it looks... Really interesting and really user friendly, I would say, from my initial research. It's got a built in microphone, which I know a lot of you were really disappointed about when the SP404 Mark II came out. That was kind of a big feature of the SP community up until the SX and the A. So when that disappeared on the Mark II, a lot of you said you were going to miss that. I did for a little bit, but then I quickly got used to the workflow. But yeah, on this device, that includes one. It's also got a built-in speaker. So obviously it's really geared towards sort of travel and making beats. I'm not really too fussed about internal speakers. They're never really that good quality, but it is kind of useful now and again to just show someone an idea that you've got or something like that. It's a nice to have. I don't think it's essential, but yeah, it's in there and that's pretty cool. One of the things on the PO33 that was pretty big was how rigid the grid was. But luckily on this one, you can fully turn off quantize and go into to what's called a free mode so that's a big change straight away and you can retrospectively add quantize as well which is a feature which we also get on the sp404 mark ii now that came in a later release i think it might have been in 
software version 3.0 but we do have that on the sp as well much like the po33 there is fx automation now i find the workflow on the sp404 mark ii really bad for this side of things for automating effects and recording those into the patterns so i'm going to be very interested to see how teenage engineering have approached this i'm hoping it's going to be better because i don't tend to use it on the sp just because i don't really find the way of working with it that intuitive to be honest so yeah, very interested to see about that. Like I mentioned about USB, you can import samples via that. And yeah, again, I will be interested to see if you can sample down that because that would be really useful, especially as I record a lot of my beats here in the studio. So I like to sample from my computer quite regularly. The keys are pressure sensitive as well, which is really nice. So we can do some velocity sensitive stuff as well, but I want to talk more about those in a little bit. I'm not sure on the full list of effects, but the most important one is the fact that we've got a compressor. So that's going to be really nice to add on to our beats and I'm really excited to see what kind of characteristics that compressor has and whether it can really bring beats together and make them sound nice and full. There's loads of other talking points with this device but that's just the things that have kind of stood out to me from my initial research. These are some of the things which I don't necessarily like the look of too much which I wanted to mention to you. I think the inputs again you know it's a bit dated with the 3.5 mil jack we're still stuck on that with this device. They've obviously kind of had to keep that because of the form factor of this it's so slim i would have liked to have seen that updated to the same as the sp404 mark ii but yeah we're stuck with this 3.5 millimeter input you can sample in stereo now on this device which is good uh, but yeah that 3.5 mil jack input is a little bit dated and not exactly the best another thing is the storage now i feel like there's becoming a bit of an obsession with storage space and devices these days if you think back to the early days of boom bap and hip hop, some of the greatest beats ever made were made with such limited sample time. So for me, really, I don't get too hung up on it, but apparently you can only sample about 20 seconds per pad on this device. To me, that seems like more than enough, to be honest. I'll always be chopping samples and then just using one shots or chopping up drum breaks. So I don't think I'm ever going to really get into any sort of issue with that. But I know a lot of you are keen to have a lot of storage space. The one thing that it will mean is that you can't use it as a live performance tool, which is a bit of a shame. If you had unlimited sample time on each pad, we could have dropped tracks onto it and then used it as a live performance tool, which would have been interesting. But yeah, it doesn't look like that's going to be the case. So for some of you, I know that will be very unfortunate and I've already seen a few comments of people saying that's a big thing. To me personally, it's not the end of the world. Every device has got limitations and I've worked plenty with uh, limited sample time with devices like the PO33, uh, the Roland MS1 that I have, and the Roland SP202 as well. So I'm no stranger to limited sample times. I'm not really overly concerned about that. I think I'll still be able to make beats on this thing. So that's the main thing to me. The last point which I really wanted to raise is the keys. Now I'm really not keen on the look of these keys and i'm going to be very interested to see what these feel like if and when i pick one of these devices up probably will let's be honest they look kind of like computer keys like mechanical computer keys and with them being velocity sensitive as well i'm just really not sure how that's going to work out and how that's going to feel i really don't think it's going to feel as good as the sp pads and it certainly won't feel as good as the mpc pads which are kind of legendary for that and there is one more thing actually that i did want to mention which i just forgot about the workflow does look a little bit convoluted and very different to your sort of traditional sampler and pattern sequencer. So for me, I think there's going to be a bit of a learning curve there. There is a diagram on the website which kind of outlines how it all works, but it's very kind of weird to understand when you haven't actually got the device in front of you. So that is definitely something which I'm going to have to deal with and I'm not necessarily looking forward to learning that whole new process of a new device. But I don't know, maybe it'll be fun and it's definitely something which I can talk about and share with you guys as well. So that's it for this one really guys, that's my reaction to the device. I'm pretty set on picking one of these up. I am actually genuinely looking forward to getting to grips with this and seeing what it can do and sharing some content with you guys. I really hope I can go as hard as I have with the SP devices with this and do a kind of 20, 30, 40 video series, maybe even more than that, you never know. We'll see how things go. Like I mentioned, let me know your thoughts on this device. Is it something that you're gonna be picking up? I think it looks like it's gonna be pretty hot in this community from the initial posts that I've made about this. But yeah, leave your comments below. Are you gonna be buying one of these devices? And would you like to see me do some videos about this as well? Thanks for tuning in, guys. I hope you enjoyed watching this one. And don't forget to check out all my links underneath this video. They help support what I'm doing here and they help keep me making videos. I'd really appreciate it if you could check out my shop, spvids.com. I've got sample packs, SP skins on there and all sorts of other little bits. 
some of which I actually need to talk about in a new video very soon, so watch out for that. But apart from that, guys, as usual, keep making beats, and I will be back with more content very, very soon. Thank you.